Hey peeps, I'm about to show you one of the HIIT workouts that I'm doing on one of my lower carb days where I'm going to be going from sprinting to recovery. So let's just show you guys what it looks like. Oh my God, so what you guys just saw was me sprinting for 20 minutes and then I hop off and walk slow for a minute and 40 seconds. So get your heart rate up really, really high, get completely down to recovery, and then keep going for 20 to 25 minutes. That's how I'm doing my hit sprints. I hate it. It's a love-hate relationship, but I do it the last week, the last eight weeks of prep to get these results. So do what you gotta do. Prep feels. So what are they? So you see me say it on social media. You definitely will see um, other fitness competitors that are bodybuilders that are prepping for figure and bikini shows say it. Um, but what are prep feels? So prep feels are basically when you get to a point of depletion in your prep where you're trying to lose um, more body fat, you're trying to get leaner and keep your muscle and you just start feeling um, like crap basically. So you'll have changes in your energy, you'll be you know, just dragging, you'll feel moody, it's because you're getting less carbs, you're working harder, um, you don't feel as strong in the gym because your muscles are depleted, your carbs are lower so there's less glycogen in your muscles, you can't lift as heavy. Um, so for example, if I go in and try to squat, you know, my 245 PR, there's no, it's not gonna happen. I will injure myself. Right now I am not going above 180 pounds and I am out of breath and I can barely do it because I am what, like you call, like deep into a prep. So I'm requiring more of myself physically, more mental focus, and I'm, I'm getting less sleep and I've got less, um, you know, food going in. So I'm putting less into my body and I'm demanding more of it. And so you get what people call the prep feels. Um, you get more cravings when I'm lower carb and I can't have as many things. I crave sugary things. I want my square donuts. I'm wanting cupcakes. I want cookies. My mouth actually waters as I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich uh, for my son in the morning for school. Like my mouth Mouth is watering when I see food like how dogs salivate I am actually salivating like honestly not even like 
you know, over exaggerating, I, my taste buds are salivating when I am making this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And it takes all of me to not lick the spoon. And some days I do, like I'm human. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say my prep is 100% perfect. I always keep it real, but I wanna lick that spoon every day and sometimes I do, like it happens. Um, but you get to the point where your workouts do start to suffer. You do as much as you can. Sometimes you're doing two workouts a day to conserve energy. Um, so for example, I may do my cardio in the morning, fasted or unfasted, try to get two more meals in, you know, do my work that I need to do for clients, personal training people, um, you know, being a mom, running our business, and then I'll do the other workout in the evening and I am like so tired. And then at at night, my body is restless and sometimes I just can't fall asleep. And then sometimes when I do, I don't even have enough sleep and I don't feel rested. And the next day I'm just like, oh my God. But that is what prep feels are. Um, you basically get to that point of your cut where you're increasing cardio, you're working harder than ever, and you're decreasing food, and you get to what you would call a breaking point for other people. Like this is the point where champions are made. This is where people would quit if they are doing a restrictive diet to kind of lose weight quickly. But this is where champions are truly made because you turn on this internal drive that you just have to to like rely on to help get you through the rest of the prep. When you hit about eight weeks out, you want to quit. And when, if people say that they never want to quit on their prep, they're lying and they're sugarcoating it to you. But you hit a point where, I mean, it's really the point of no return. You either dig in deeper and you knock it out and you get it done or you quit. And I refuse to quit. I'm relentless. I may not be the leanest person out there. I don't have the tightest skin because I've lost 150 something pounds, but I'm gonna rock that stage and I'll know that I gave this prep my all and I'm gonna be satisfied with the package that I bring. All right, guys, it's workout time. Going to my first Wednesday spin class on low carbs. I'm a little apprehensive, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to be hungry, and I'm going to be tired. So let's make this happen. So we're gonna get a little bit of triceps in before this class.
some home post-workout. Sometimes I get this question, do you ever eat out? Do you guys see this bag? It's Panera. So let me show you what I got. All right, so my favorite right now is the Green Goddess Salad. This is full size. I'll only use one dressing. I got no bacon. I got some avocado. I'll have a couple slices and then I'll probably toss the rest um, or give it to my dog. And then I get the egg and per my fat that I need for the day, I'll either leave the yolk in or I'll keep half or I'll toss them both away. And then I get extra um, purple or red onions. But this is what I get. This is like 25 grams of protein. It's like 20 carbs once I make the modification. I follow if it fits your macros. So if there's something I want and it fits what I have the day for my macros, I'm gonna eat it. It's as simple as that. So um, definitely the best way to go when you wanna be flexible with your nutrition. So if I wanna have Panera, this girl will have Panera. Okay guys, it's physique update time. I know this is one of the things you guys are interested in. So of course I'm trying to tr change my physique and look better, but I have great news. Um, as much as I kind of like mentally struggled going in through this like most recent like um, cut of macros and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not gonna have any food, um, it's working. I'm losing weight. I've lost two more pounds in the last like 10-ish, 10-ish, 12 days. Um, so I'm down two more pounds. I'm down to 128. Um, so I've, I'm down 14 pounds since the very start of prep, which was kind of like in May. Um, this is like a nice slow cut, but I'm down um, 14 pounds. Um, I should be having my body fat percentage tested again in about two weeks. I'm going to estimate that I'm like in the high 13% body fat. I'm keeping my lean muscle mass on top of my body, which is like really important. And these legs are like finally starting to come in. Like I can see them getting leaner. My husband's noticing it. Um, you know, my friends and family are noticing it that see me in person. Like these legs are finally starting to shrink in. Um, there's still going to be some cellulite on them. They'll still be loose skin, but like I'm super excited. So seven weeks out, I'm down two more pounds. I'm really ex excited. Um, I'm only three pounds away from my last stage weight in November 2016. Um, so, you know, the, the scale doesn't matter completely, but I've got more muscle mass, which means I'm probably going to get leaner than the last show. So I'm like, really, I'm really, really, really excited and proud of myself. And um, this being week seven, losing those couple more pounds is like super motivating. Um, so be on the lookout for a supplement video that's releasing. And then I'm also going to have a sneak peek video of my suit everybody's asking what color it is there's going to be a sneak peek video so look out for that if you guys have any questions about week seven just let me know um like comment and subscribe to my channel please i love the support and i'll see you guys in week six Darling, you